Welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4. We have a challenge today. So what if Germany couldn't build any military factories? So we're only allowed to use the marketplace and lend lease for equipment. And we'll see if we can beat the Allies and the Soviets. As always, if you're enjoying the content, please hit the subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. So I haven't really, as usual, got a plan or I haven't tested this. So it's going to be winging it off the bat. So focus wise, there's a few things that I obviously no point me doing, like the treaty with the USSR and get these bonuses. I can do Rhineland, but Angelus, I'll have to wait a while. So we might as well go get some sieves because we're going to need to do a lot of trading. So let's go four year plan and head towards that. I'm going to do something I've never done in a Hoy game with my thousands of hours. Convert buildings from mills to sieves. All over, we're going to get rid of every mill we have and change them out for sieves. There we go. Right, all sieves are going. So it is... Oh, I thought it was a lot cheaper than that. It's only slightly cheaper to convert them, but that's fine. We'll do that first. We've got no mills. We'll just delete all of these because we'll be making nothing... And I will let myself build everything that's in production already. And then I won't build any more ships either. Research wise is a bit odd. Uh, is there any point doing mechanical stuff? I suppose I want dispersed for the max factories and the bombing vulnerability. So we will go for that still. We'll definitely get construction. We'll get the basic machine tools or that's useless. So we can then get the dispersed. We will go electronic engineering and we might as well get the guns. Best infantry equipment we can get, really. Uh, nothing's on the market yet because we haven't started, so we'll leave that. We will use our small air force, but we can't make any planes. Right, we've got some trucks. Japan's willing to trade for us, so straight off the bat, we will take your trucks. Thank you. We'll have to do a bit of motorised ore supply. Uh, convoys, we... I guess we'll need the convoys. Bloody hell, they are expensive though. We won't buy convoys. Ah, more trucks. Thank you, Japan. We will definitely take your trucks off your hand again. Oh, and some more trucks. We love trucks. We'll have all of them, thank you. Oh, we are at a convoy though. I will let myself just build convoys. That's the only thing I'm allowed to build is convoys. I think that's fair. Let's get an agency going as well because we want to get a collab government going. More trucks again. Thank you, Japan. Right, I think I'm going to go for a little early war against the Netherlands. Hopefully they'll have some equipment I can steal. Obviously I can get equipment from conquered nations. And then at least it then takes the nation out for us as well. More trucks again from Japan. We'll take them. Thank you very much. And some more. Another truck. We'll take another one. Now, what else do I want to research? I suppose we should get radios. And we'll go and get our dispersed industry with our bonus there as well. Oh, artillery. Finally, something different. We'll take artillery. Definitely Japan. Thank you. Is Japan our only source at the moment? That's pretty pants, but okay. We'll upgrade the agency. And we'll go for the Goering work so we can get some more sieves and 35 trains. Thank you. More artillery. Perfect. Thank you, Japan. We will take your big guns off your hands. I'm going to go free trade because I don't need my resources apart from oil, really. And we haven't got a lot. And then I'll get more sieves in trade to buy stuff with, like these artillery pieces from Japan again. We'll take them again. Oh, artillery and trucks. You do treat us, Japan. Do you have any, I don't know, guns for us, though, maybe? Right, a couple more days until that's going. So I haven't actually done Rhineland yet, so we haven't got the full front. We can man, which is a bit annoying, but never mind. Finally, some guns from Japan. We'll take them. Thank you. We definitely need them. I've damaged my fleet training them by accident. We'll get them back in and fixed. And then we will go to war. Oh, we lose the Mifo bills, but who cares? Let's go and roll the Netherlands over. Easy peasy. 2.3k guns and some more equipment and trains. That's good. That's some good conquered equipment. Thank you. Dutch East Indies haven't gone yet. Have they? Have we just done that too quickly? There we go. Right, we will take the Netherlands land, I think or yeah let's take it let's not pupper it and then we will just puppet the dutch east indies and then we get some 
men from them, hopefully, and equipment. And we'll take the fleet. Right, our equipment is looking okay, so let's go and get some more divisions out. How many can we get? What are we lacking? Infantry and support. That's fine. We'll get four divisions out. I'm going to try and get... See if I can justify in Poland and knock them out as well before they get a guarantee. So we'll see about that. Meanwhile, nothing for sale. It would be mad if we went non-historical way, but I think that's pretty stupid. So let's go and get the Rhineland. Oh, we bypassed that. That's fine. Um, we'll go get this Swedish trade because then maybe we'll be able to buy some equipment from them. Hopefully, that's the plan. Yeah, we have got a lot of market access. None of these want to sell anything to us. I wish there was an option where you could auto-buy everything that they put on there. But I suppose that would ruin your economy. But hopefully some other people will sell me some stuff. No, they've got a guarantee. That's irritated. Never mind, right? We'll cancel that justification. We'll do it the normal old-fashioned way. Trucks and guns from Japan again. Yeah, we'll take them as well. Thank you. Some factories for them. Happy days. We've got some more divisions. I'm going to cut down the infantry a little bit just so I can get more men for the front line. I'm not too sure how I'm going to end up. So then we can get some more divisions out because I've got a lot of borders to cover with my small army at the moment. And I don't know how much I'm going to be able to recruit between now and then. We have got some divisions that we can steal. I think this is acceptable in the rules. I'm not making equipment. We'll steal some. Uh, we can get garrison support as well. Sweden accepts our deal. Have they now let us buy some equipment? No, but El Salvador has guns. So we'll buy some guns off them and some guns off Japan again. Getting Angelis is actually going to be really difficult, I've realised, because we've got to get 40,000 infantry equipment. Okay, we'll have to leave that one and come back to it, I guess. We'll get the propaganda and then we can go war economy when we get some more PP. Got a couple new divisions, we'll add them to our army. Let them train. Oh, some armoured cars. We'll take them because they'll be good for garrison so we don't need as much equipment. So we'll take them, we'll take the guns and we'll take the trucks as well. Right, let's get our spies in the Soviets because we want a collaboration government there to make that easier for us. Ah, finally, some people will sell us some stuff. Sweden and Romania will sell us all of their guns. I mean, Sweden is selling us our own guns back. Okay. But fine, we'll buy them back. We'll buy any gun anyone has. Oh, and some Swedish light tanks. We'll definitely take them off your hands. And the rest of those guns as well. Oh, and some basic light tanks from Italy. Brilliant. Italian tanks, just what the German army needs. We'll take those more guns as well, though. Oh, here we go. It's starting to ramp up. We don't want one of them. We'll take your support equipment, though, Estonia. And we'll take everything from the Baltics. Thank you. Right, collaboration government one we can get set up. So let's get them going and automatically repeat. We've got a lot of divisions on the way. Training, so that's good. We're on the border with Poland. We're just lacking some infantry equipment and artillery, I think. Uh, artillery is actually okay. Yeah, just some infantry equipment. But luckily there is a lot for sale now. I didn't realise how much gets put on here. Artillery, there we go. Finland will sell us your artillery. And what's got the most amount? Because this is getting tedious. Romania will take all of your guns. Thank you, Romania. Finally completed Angelus. So we get some nice new units from Austria, which they can join the front. And it's been late in September 38, but I guess they'd have spent all this time making guns that I assume we've inherited. So that should be good with those infantry equipment. More 5,700 from the Polish. That's really stupid. You're basically selling them to us who are going to invade you in a minute with them. So thank you for that, Poland. Very short-sighted of you. And Romania will take yours. And Hungary will take yours as well. We'll take everything you've got. This is getting very tedious, though, I must be honest. Especially seeing as so many people want to sell me stuff. We're building Civ still. We'll get rid of them. I think that's enough. We've got loads and we'll get the anti-air going. And we'll demand the Sudeten land. More stuff, more stuff. We'll take the tanks, we'll take the guns, we'll take the armoured cars. Sweden, we will take everything that you want to sell us. Because we have got unlimited sieves to buy. Right, one collaboration done. 
The next one, I need support equipment. I didn't think that through. So hopefully, yeah, Sweden's got some. We'll buy your support equipment. Thank you. Because that will be for... Oh, don't tell me that. You can add it all together. Oh, you can buy all the same stuff for the nation in one go. That is really annoying. I've wasted so much time. Let's get some anti-air in. So we've got 18 with artillery, support equipment, anti-air. That should at least be able to do some form of combat. And we'll upgrade anti-air as well. I know I can't make them, but at least it improves the stats of our anti-air. And we will buy some from Sweden. Our equipment is looking very nice, actually. Six and a half thousand guns. We're just missing some anti-air. But we'll, we'll uh, buy that when we can. We've got some port guards on the way as well. Everyone is selling all of their equipment, so we'll take it all. The Scandinavian countries are being, and the Baltics actually are being very generous. Very generous indeed. Right, here we go. Poland has refused. It is about time we kick this off in November. So what are we going to do about it? I reckon we're going to roll on in Poland. That's what's going to happen. You're obviously going to join the Allies, but that's fine. Last standing isn't going to help you. We can kind of push. This is going to be a bit of a struggle, but as long as we can grab the victory points, you should cap pretty easily. Meanwhile, Latvia will definitely sell us more equipment while we're at war. Not many other people will. I know we're not going to get as many trade deals now. We are out of fuel as well, so let's go get some oil from the Soviets. Uh, that's a little bit, I suppose. That's pretty much enough. That'll be fine. We take Krakow. Is that it? Is that Poland gone now? No. What are they at? 83%. Okay. Danzig. We never took Danzig. I let that slide. Once that's gone, that should be it for Poland. Hopefully they've got some equipment for us. Oh, and they have. 25,000 guns, 600 artillery. That is good. Let's get those divisions out then. Let's get them all on the Belgian border and we are going to go around the Maginot, funny enough. We have got plenty of equipment now. Just a little bit of anti-air we're lacking, but that's fine. We've got a lot of infantry. We are being raided in the sea, but we'll deal with that later. Full-on aggressive attack because we need to smash through Belgium before the Allies reinforce them quickly. Got a few areas we managed to encircle a few we just need to break through france and head there we go some equipment from belgium as well which is good we just need to beeline for paris now use our small air force to try and do some damage they are last standing and we are a bit stuck but i think we should be able to push one or two tiles and make a gap load of equipment still so that's fine we're looking okay italy fine actually sends us stuff that's probably the only time that's useful and we will get some lend lease as well, whoever's offering it. Ooh, we are lacking a lot of guns, but I did try and recruit a load, so we'll delete those 48 divisions. That's a bit ambitious. Uh, I don't want a, an agreement. That doesn't help me. I can't build tanks. Ah, gap. There we go. Right, beeline for Paris. Push and hold. We'll pin them in. And we need to take Paris and cap them quickly. Is that them done? Fall of Paris is done. Come on. Give me the event for Vichy. Do we need to take one more tile? There we go. Triumph from France. Establish VC France. And it's bugged and we've got free France still. There we go. There we go. France is ours. Load of equipment as well. Thank you very much. We'll set up our sea line as well. Let's take the British out quickly before the US join in. And then we can turn on to the Soviets. Let's get our Kriegsmarine out into the English Channel. Get them on strike force and hopefully nick naval in superiority. We'll also get all our planes that can bomb boats in there. Let's take out Denmark as well. We'll do Denmark, Norway and Yugoslavia. We've got troops there as well. So we'll go for Yugoslavia next. And we'll just force our way into there. Denmark surrenders straight away. Thank you. We will protect them. Norway will have... Yeah, there we go. A nice civil war. He will be useful. We'll take the civil war and we'll send some troops over there. Right, Norway's being dealt with nicely. Oh, I didn't see the naval invasion. That went off when I didn't pay attention. Right, grab that. Take Dover. Push out. Grab some more ports. Get our whole army across. Our reinforcements are here. That's it. Push them out now. We need a bit more of a beachhead. Take Dover, finally. At least we've got ports before they're all coming in. We need another port. But yeah, our little light tanks are pushing through. London's surrounded. Here we go. It's over for the UK. We'll just roll them over. Couple more tiles. Yugoslavia is also gone. Couple more. Liverpool, maybe Hull, and that should be it. Old Manchester. There we go. Britain's gone. 
load of equipment, mainly armoured cars for some reason, but okay. Peace deal is done. We managed to get quite a lot, funny enough. So we've got a big German Reich, and we've also got the Protector of UK. Not got Oswald Mosley in charge for some reason, but okay. So on to the Soviets. This is going to be the equipment drainer. Let's get our battle plan out, get that going. We've got a nice... No, I was going to say big, but not really. We've got a load of crap planes that we've got for the peace deal, so we'll get them out, definitely. Fate of Lucaslavia. We have got loads of equipment. We're just missing a bit of anti-air and armoured cars. We'll set up a naval invasion to Leningrad just to open another front and help ourselves out. Right, here we go. I know it's December and this is really stupid. Finland's joined as well, which is nice, but uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll get our new big navy out, although we haven't got many destroyers, but that's okay. We'll get them in the Baltic. Oh, they did best Arabia, so uh, my line doesn't cover, but I don't care. We're going for it. We're going all at attack. This is the stupidest thing. Thinking about it, I probably should have put maintenance companies in. So maybe I will do that. Shall I? Yeah, let's switch out the engineers for them. Let's steal some equipment. Oh, and I forgot about this. Let's take all of the British force. This is allowed. We've, we said this was allowed in the rules. We've got nice 87 divisions from uh, the British. Well, I know it's winter, but I think we can push through. Mm, not really. Luckily, there is a lot of people that are going to fuel this war. So the Turks want to give us stuff. So we will take everything off the Turks. Thank you, all of that. Right, we're in May now, so we should be able to push. Yeah, we've got a load of equipment, which is fine. Let's push on in. Oh, we have taken quite a few casualties. A million compared to 500,000 Soviets. That's pretty poor, I must be honest. We are bleeding equipment now as well, so I might have to stop and wait a little bit while we recoup. Luckily, obviously, we've got many people who will sell us guns. Again, the tedious job of buying them all. Oh, we're still lacking a few, but let's just close these little encirclements up and grab some land where we can. Right, I'm just going to push again. We are sort of open for Moscow. There's a bit of a gap here. I'm just going to beeline it so we can knock them out. Get all our little light tanks done. They're not very well equipped, but we'll see if we can... Light tank on into Moscow with the collaboration government. They might go. Oh, we've stretched a bit thin here. If we can pin, we might be able to take Moscow. We'll have to go round and do a bit of encirclement. Italy and Romania are now going ham. I don't know why I didn't bring them in earlier. Our little bit to Moscow didn't make it, unfortunately. And we've almost closed this. We've got loads of equipment well, in terms of infantry equipment, nothing else. So let's whack these up to 20 width and use them. We can get an encirclement here. That's going to be all the Baltic countries encircled. Yes, there we go. Nice little encirclement here. So we'll, well, not encircled, but cut off. So we'll push in there and destroy them. Quite a few Soviet units there. So that's good. That's them knocked out. This will be good casualties. Right, I'm going to hold out just over winter. I'm going to lose so much equipment. We'll let them attack us and we'll get as many equipment as we can buying and stealing Right, April, it is time to go back on the counter and knock the Soviets out once and for all. Although it's not looking great. I mean, we are attacking across a river. 3.5 million to 2.7. That's not bad. They've got quite a few divisions, though. Luckily, we can still buy some equipment. Equipment's all right. We've got loads of infantry equipment. I think that's all that really matters now. A little bit of everything else missing. There's a nice encirclement here that I can't close, even though I've got about five opportunities to do so. Come on, one day, there we go. Look at this. That's a nice chunk as well. It's got to be a good 40 or 50 divisions there we'll knock out. Very nice. Right, we're going to beeline for Moscow again. This has got to be it. I want to break them before the real winter sets in. Take Moscow and I think they'll cap. Oh, we're on the doorsteps. Winter's setting in and we can't really take it. What about Stalingrad? Stalingrad's on the border of being taken, so beeline for that. Knock Stalingrad out as well and that might be it. Stalingrad's gone. 97%. Right, Moscow. Just take Moscow. We must be on the border. Come on. They haven't got much troop. Everyone there. Beeline for Moscow. Push into Moscow. Oh, is it capped already? It capped and we didn't get to take Moscow. No! Oh, that's a shame, but, uh, I mean, can I really complain? We've just capped the Soviets. Right, taking all the territory. Japan and Italy decided to go war as usual for some unknown reason. We'll proclaim Greater Germany. Italy got, I must be honest, most of it, but I didn't really care because I couldn't be asked to click all the units. 
Just to prove I didn't cheat, let's have a little look at our equipment. All of this, I mean, there's actually 349 car 98s from the original that have hang around, but everything else is all different people's equipment. We've stolen and bought all of this equipment off everyone else. Right, uh, another challenge done. I enjoyed that one. Someone did recommend it quite a while ago. I couldn't find the comments, so sorry if it was you. Give that one a go yourself, guys. Let me know how you get on. It was um, a bit tedious, I must be honest, but uh, all in good fun. Shout out to our members as always. Thanks for your support and peace out.